Hi, I'm Patrick Fuss. Today I'm going to build a complex setup with my XFX3 and my personal MX18. This will include presets, scenes, channels, blocks, CCs, expression pedals, everything. Let's get started. Let's look at the presets that I use on my XFX3. I used 10 presets, mostly only 5. And uh, as you can see, they are all built in a similar way. So let's program these 10 presets. Okay, let's use Easy Setup, MX18, XFX3, and Blank. So in global, XFX3 is as external device. I want my 10 presets that I use, I want them all on my bottom row. So, I've put preset 1, which is an XFX FM3 preset 1, and on my hold, I want the preset 6, and so for 2, 3, 4, and 5. My sixth button, I want tempo, which is FX tempo, and a tuner. tuner. All hold type 1s, as you can see. Now I want, on the second row, my drives and my delays. So I'm back here on one of my presets. You see I have two delays, but delay 2 is only used for my solo. On delay 1, I have three channels. Of course I have four, but I only use three channels. On channel A, I have a carbon copy. On channel B, I have a 1A dot delay. And on channel C, I have a stereo delay. And on drive, I also only use three channels. On A, I use a boost. On B, a drive. And on C, a first. Okay, let's program this on the MX. On my second row, I want my drives and my delays. So I have programmed here FX, FM3 block and channel, so I can turn it on and off and select at the same time. Drive channel A, channel B for drive, and for first channel C. And my three delays, carbon on channel A, 1A dot channel B, and stereo on channel C. On my top row, I want all my FX. So I got tremolo, flanger, phaser, chorus, and these four are all put in one group, so that only one can be on at the same time. Then I got the octaver, which is the pitch block, channel A, and on button 18 I got multi. Multi will give me some sort of shimmer effect, and I could do this with my six commands, but it's easier to change between scenes. So I change between scene one, which is my default scene, and scene five, the multi-scene. Now that my pedal board is full, let's concentrate on the expression pedals. I have two expression pedals. The left one is for wah volume and FX, and the right one is for morphing between rhythm and solo. The left one, here, wah, C control, 
of the frequency is controlled by external one. The right one controls external three, and external three is here for the mix, which morphs between row four and five, which control PEQ two and one, two for the solo, which three dB boost. And here you see controlling external three. At the same time in amp one, I turn on the preamp with external three, the boost level, and delay two, input gain, and delay one, also input gain, but in the opposite direction. Okay, let's program this on the MX editor. Okay, we go to expression input. Expression one is not used. I use the SW2X, which is built in, in my Amix 18, but that's for later. Expression 2, that's my WA pedal. It is on CC1. And X Special 3 is my morph pedal between rhythm and solo, and it's on CC3. So that's okay. Let's test this. <laughs> On my drives, I want on my long press that I can choose between amp and cap A, B, and C. I could use, like I did for the drives, the command block and channel, but instead I choose to connect a CC value to the amp and to the cap channel with a value 0 for channel A, 1 for channel B, and 2 for channel C. Now, on the delays, I want on my long press that I can boost the delay level to 8 dB. So I put a filter after delay, and on the level, I connected external 5 going from 0 to 8 dB. So now I can control with long press on 10, 11, and 12 the amount of delay level going from 0 with CC off to 4 with a value of 64 to 8 dB, CC on only on CC5. Notice that each time if I select another delay, the CC off only so that the filter is back to 0 dB. Now I'm at top row, I want um, a second channel of all my FX. For tremolo, I want on the long press a rotary. And also that is selected in group one. And on flanger, I changed it. I changed it. It was first FX block, but now I change it to block and channel so I can swap between A and B. Same for phaser, A and B, for chorus, A and B. And look here, I put on number 10, which is the carbon copy. I like it when my chorus a delay is also included. And then on the octaver, I also go from A to B. With my expression pedal, which controls the wah, I also want to control my volume. I set an amplex after the wah, and this controls the row which is selected. It is controlled by external 2, which is CC2. Also, the volume, the bypass, is controlled by external 2, bypassed, engaged. 
and the wah. The frequency is external one, and also the volume is external one. So by pressing external two, I can choose between wah and volume. So now I call it swell, and here with only CC on off, CC2, I can change now between volume and wah. <laughs> On a similar way, I can control the pitch in the classic whammy by external 6, the rotary, the rate, external 6, tremolo, also the rate, external 6. And on the editor, tremolo, I change the expression 2 cc from 6. From 1 to 6. Also for the rotary and here for the whammy. On my expression input, I didn't use expression 1 because I have a built-in SW2X. And the left button is scene 7 and the right button scene 8 to do some special things depending on the preset I'm on. On the left button, long press, I have bank select. And on the right button, long press, I have page. And if I choose page, I go to page B. And there I have all the looper commands. Record, play, undo, reverse, half and halt of the reverb. <laughs> 